Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about configuring a Proxmox VM. Your first step to configure a Proxmox VM is going to be to select your server on the left-hand side of your web interface. Then you're going to click Create VM. You're going to see your Create Virtual Machine screen appear. Enter your VM ID and your VM name. You may find, depending on your organizational tactics, that you do not need to enter your VM ID. It will go in order from lowest to highest as it creates the number automatically. After you've entered your VM name, click Next. Now you're going to need to select your uploaded image. If you do not know how to select your uploaded image, go ahead and watch our video on that. I will provide a link to do that both in the descriptions and on a card that should appear at this screen. After you have selected your uploaded image, click Next. Now it's time to configure our hard drive. Select your bus type. I have found that SCSI works most often and doesn't need to be selected very often. Sometimes for certain applications, you may find that you want to select SATA or IDE, and you can do that at this box. Also, you're going to select your storage drive. Your default storage drive will be local-LVM and enter your disk size. When all three of these boxes have been filled out, we can go ahead and click next. Enter the number of CPUs. Most home lab servers are not going to have more than one socket. If you have more than one socket, you can go ahead and choose this option here as well. Today we're just going to use one core, but know that you can enter more depending on what you want to do. Click next and move on to your memory configuration. For a VM, we have two boxes we need to fill out here. One is going to be the memory size that we desire for our VM. The other one is going to be the minimum RAM that this VM can have when starting. This is important because if you're out of RAM due to multiple VMs running, your system knows how little RAM that it can give and still have this VM work. When both of these boxes have been configured, click Next. Your network configurations shouldn't need to be configured very much on your basic default install of Proxmox for a basic VM setup. If you do have multiple adapters for some reason, you could change your bridge type, but most people are gonna find that they leave this page default. Click Next. This will give you a confirmation window for your settings. You can go ahead and click Finish at this point. No, by selecting your VM and going to the Hardware tab, you can change any of these settings at a later date if you so desire. Click Finish, and here you go. Your VM will appear on the left-hand side of the screen just as mine did. And I have selected the Hardware tab on the right-hand side of the screen for our VM so you can see all your configured settings. I hope you enjoyed today's video presentation from Virtualize Everything. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help virtualize everything, reach more viewers, and help with their virtualization life. Home Labs can help everyone learn and educate themselves about technology, networking, and other technology-related topics that will help anybody seeking a career in IT or that just wants to have a better understanding of computer systems learn. As always, hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. Have a good night. <music>